I will say Kate and I had Korean barbecue yesterday. I had a, I had a beautiful experience at dinner. I ate a lot of meat. When the bill came, I said, that's very expensive. And it got me thinking how stupid I am. How could Korean barbecue not be expensive? They're giving you good cuts of meat. I, and then I started to imagine what like a budget Korean barbecue restaurant would look like. And I just pictured them coming out with like slices of like, you know, lunch ham and stuff like that. And like throwing a bunch of ground beef onto the damn charcoal grill in front of you. <laughs> that bologna with the noodles in it. You keep boudé jigae out your mouth. You know why? Because I think it's disgusting, personally. That's just my two cents. I'm not trying to say it shouldn't exist. I'm not trying to say it's not valid. Seoul in Surrey goes pretty crazy for the price. We weren't in Surrey. I don't know. It was, I mean, I just... I've come to accept that if you want to feast at Korean barbecue, it's going to cost you like almost the same that it would cost you at a steakhouse. The catch is... You have to cook your own meat, but you're going to get like three times more than you would at a steakhouse. But you have to cook it yourself. I just got back from Seoul. I pronounced Boudé Jigae the way you do and everyone corrected me. Well, first off, motherfucker, my ass does not speak Korean. So that's not like a surprise for one. But secondly, that shit used to happen to me like all the time in Korea. Like even in Seoul, you'd be like, I'm going to Seoul. And people would be like, it's not Seoul, it's Seoul. And you're like, sol, and they're like, no, 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 not like that. Then you'd say it exactly the same way. You go, sol, and they go, yeah, that's it. That's perfect. <laughs> I know, it's like one of my, sorry, I've just got to pause the dialogue. It's one of my favorite stories from my time living in Korea, where I, I got off of a train in Daegu, and I lived close to uh, Siji, was the name of the neighborhood. And there was an e-mart there. So whenever I would get in a taxi, I would say CG Imata Juseo, which just is like bad Korean for take me to the CG Mart. I remember one time I got in a taxi and I said CG Imat Juseo. And the guy was went, CG, CG Imat, CG, CG Imata Juseo, CG. And he was like, ah, I got it. And then he took me on like a 40 minute drive to a part of the city I'd never seen before and dropped me off at a different e-mart. And he was basically, I don't know what he was saying and that's my fault, but he was basically like, here you go. And I was like, CG e-mart, CG e-mart. And he was like confused. And then he went, oh, CG e -mart. And I was like, Yes, Shiji Imata. <laughs> Does the S and the I sometimes have like an H or always have an H? It's, I, my, my friend has the exact same story, but it's from Quebec, where he was at McDonald's and he ordered breakfast and they asked him what drink he wanted and he said orange juice and they went like, quoi? And he went orange juice and they said like, I don't know what you're saying, buddy. And he said orange juice and they went, oh! Just orange. <laughs> oh man, I'm not saying that we are in the right, by the way, for not speaking the language. But you're like, really? I messed up like one syllable, bro. There's two emarts. There's one in CG and one in Susongu. Bro heard CG emart and said, "I'm taking his ass to Susongu." Come on, man. Also, the other one that I get, I, I get corrected on all the time, Samjang. Samjang. Uh, Samjang, do you say, yo? Ah, it's not, it's not Samjang. It's not Samjang. It's Samjang. Shit starts with two S's. And one of them is not silent, apparently. Samjang. And the thing that always gets me is I say, like, Samjang. And they go, that's not right. It's Samjong. And I go, okay, Samjong. And they go, no, no, that's not it. Then I go, Samjong. And they go, perfect, you got it. <laughs> and then I go, Samjong. And they go, no, nope, you lost it again. And I'm like, I've said it the same way four times in a row. And you expect me to believe that I'm, I'm, I'm learning something here. I need, I need Kate's help on this one. There's 
Tokboki is rice cakes, spicy ketchup in a sauce. I don't really like it that much. But then there's like Tokboki, which is like a meatloaf stick. That's Dok Galbi is the meat one. Excuse me. Oh, that's Dok Galbi. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dok Galbi. Hold on. I'm reading it through. You're thinking of Dok Go Goji? Dok Gochi? Oh, God. <laughs> he is not saying it right. Oh, no. Did I, did I do the Chamchi thing? Where if you go to the kimbap chongguk and you ask for uh, chamchi kimbap duge juseyo, they make fun of you because chamchi is like, if you, it's tuna, but if you say the word slightly differently, it's uh, the Korean slang for a vagina. So it's like you walk into the, you, the you're the only uh, Western person in the restaurant, you walk in and just go, hey, can you give me two rolls of pussy to go, please? Everybody laughs at you, and then your face gets really red. You get really flushed and embarrassed, but you only have a 22-minute <laughs> lunch break. So you got to wait there for the damn tuna rolls to come out. And then for the rest of your time in Korea, you never order chamchi kimbap ever again. You only order kimchi kimbap.